Yo, what up, people? Uh, how is everyone doing? Hey, you want to hear something funny? So, I was I planned to get two vi two videos done today, and uh, you can go ahead and skip thirty seconds or a minute. I'll start the video. Um, uh, so I just done a whole reaction right to uh, Nick, uh, Nick Diaz funny moments, and it was a great video. And then like I switched tabs like down here to go hit stop recording. Usually you just hit the space bar and it works right. And I hit the space bar and nothing happened. And I was like, huh? And I was like, don't tell me that shit didn't record. So And it was a long video, man. It was like 11 minutes, but I was talking for a lot. So it was like 20 minutes. I've just done a whole 20 minute video. Fucking just for nothing. <laughs> I, was just, I sat here like this. <laughs> I was like, twat. Um, <laughs> uh, hey, guys, I had to... Um, you know I said I ordered my camera, which I did. And Dave was like, after... Like five days of like deliberating that was like uh we haven't got any in stock sorry so i've just went ahead and bought another one so god knows when it will get here went for the canon m50 so just quickly filling you in on just just a few things um i had a reaction to do nfl's biggest stadiums kobe bryant's career moments and biggest fights in nfl and considering i didn't get to the nick Diaz one which had some fighting we're going to go ahead and do this one, and then I'll carry on doing the others in a minute. Hope everyone's well. I'm going to get straight into this, man. Thank you for joining me. Uh -huh. Hand off for Ward on third and eight. We've got what we've got. And Ward leaning forward. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, there's punching now. Yeah, Finnegan and Andre Johnson that, that kicked off a lot quicker than I thought it would. Both of the helmets were ripped off. And we may have even more action. And now, just a few seconds later, the helmet comes off again. Johnson's helmet. And physically, this How is slow that referee is to jump in. Goes I would have done the same. I would have thought about that. Three. Finnegan, just about 190 pounds. Welcome back live to the NFL. <laughs> Sorry. Well, <laughs> today, everyone, where you have some breaking news for you coming out of Cleveland. Let's take you right out. Sorry, I'm just really paranoid now. It is recording. I was so paranoid then. My bad. To Dan Deardorff. Dan, what's going on? Well, thank you, Greg. You know, we mentioned earlier about Gerard Warren's comments and how emotions were running high. Well, just a couple of moments ago, this is what happened down on the field when the two teams were out warming up. Ooh. Right in the middle there, that is Joey Porter, Ooh. number 55, William Green, number 31, Ooh, the running back for the Browns, it, and they are exchanging blows. William Green told Armin Katayan that Joey Porter spit in his face right there. Dirty bastard. And that's man. what started the fight. Dirty bastard. I hate that shit, you know, spitting in people's faces. That's the worst thing you can do, man. Bill Cower has no comment on what happened. You can see William Green is bleeding. These were big time punches being thrown. Well, how about them apples? <laughs> First down Jesus and Christ. ten. Chicago pulls one out of the hat here in the third quarter with 5.05 to go. You know what it looks like when the camera quality is like this? You know when like you look into a really bright light and then look away? That's what this camera quality looks like. Fuller. Sanders to the 38. Big old Barry Sanders. And another fight is broken out. <laughs> Boy, this is a real one. Where's all the blue shirts, man? Where's all the blue shirts? Watch me, boy. Get fucked. Oh, my days. One cardinal held one guy, and the other one uh, hit him. Yeah, let's just notice what's happening here. Farrell and Pat Dunsmore up. The blue shirts, but I don't, I'm not sure who's playing, but they were too slow, man. You need to get over there back to the middle of it. See, this is where it starts, right there. That's where Freddie Joe Nunn came over and hit Hornigo, I think it was. Then Van Horn and then Washington Van got Horn. into it. Yeah, then Van Horn came and started it. And then from then on, it was just crazy over there in the sideline. But I don't know how you just throw Cardinals out of that deal. This is back in the day. When, this is back in the day when like shit like this could just slide in it. Like he's done that today. That'd be that'd be fucking back page of news, wouldn't it? 
We have the sports on the back page over here. I don't know if it's the same as you guys, but that would be back page news, man. Uh, we're going to get the list again of those who have been ejected, but there is Otis Anderson delivering kicks. That was fairly obvious. I think what Gene Stallings is probably saying is, is how about some of these other guys? I mean, there's Van Horn right there coming in and giving mm. a shot. I think they're saying, why doesn't he go? of exactly which players from St. Louis have been ejected and which, if any, from Chicago, because I didn't hear him. I don't think any Chicago Bears have been ejected. Jesus. It was a bull rat, wasn't it? Newton. In trouble on the run. And it's caught. Steve nice. Smith will score. Yo. What the fuck are you doing, man? And a fight is going on in the end zone. And Cam Newton has run all the way in there with the entire offense and defensive teams. Flags have been down. This is division football. NFC South, these teams don't like each other. Steve Smith, the fiery guy. I mean that's what happens like if it's a, if it's a derby then that's what's going to happen in it but I've rated his team for coming to back it though because on the last video they just left it you know there was there's a little slow considering the pro athletes but at least he got there to back it oh there's a fight behind the play flags come flying in <laughs> oh shit AJ Green Jalen Ramsey they've been going at it it's a hotly contested battle yeah Oh, what the oh AJ Green throwing a punches. punches. You don't punch the helmet, number one. It just showed the replay yeah. on the board here, and the fans see that AJ Green threw punches. It seemed like 10 minutes after Dawson was on. I mean, you guys really get it in, don't you? The ground. Here comes Ben Davidson, helmet first, and spears Dawson in the back. Fuck. And what breaks out is. Years of frustration boiling over in this full tilt melee. And when that cleared, the officials said offsetting penalties go back to the third down play. Echo with his hands right around his ankles. Oh, yeah, I said, like back in the day, they didn't even eject no one. It's just, yeah. They have a fight on the other side. Look at this. After Crabtree. Helmet's being thrown, Jaleed grabbed it off, referee is down, and look at holding on to his ribs. Well, that started with the block, that was Crabtree on a key to lead. Wow. Ooh, they both took ooh. a swing on a key to lead. Wow, they both took a look at that. Yep, and the official, I think the first oh, one, he got inside the yeah. grill of to lead with that hit, Crabtree did. Yeah, big boy, two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Gastineau goes into his celebration, and something like this is bound to happen. Shit, man, she's back. It'll be a while before he celebrates again. Ferragamo is in the middle of it now. Now the Jets are in the Timeouts remaining. Beckham got a block, got a couple of them. And this may be a play. And then a kick by Beckham. I'll tell you, this game's got a chance to get ugly. It might get ugly right now. It is getting ugly yeah. right now. You can see this coming from a long time ago. We've had a 
kicker kick somebody in the face. We've had a couple of late hits out of bounds. That one a very late hit out of bounds by Alec Ogletree. And Odell Beckham Jr. didn't like it at all. sideline and is leveled out of bounds and a penalty flag and there's a fight on the field and the 45 fucking hell oh, it, it literally just happens over nothing doesn't it I understand it's a bunch of big dudes you know testosterone filled adrenaline's pumping I get it but man it just kicks up anywhere I mean bodies from both sidelines come racing out in front of the Lions bench Right there, guys pushing and shoving away from the action. Charles Tillman has been buried on the sideline there at midfield. Israel and Donna They're Jean still going at it as well. last one to get up from the original pile. And then the, the sideline just erupts. I'm not quite sure. I think it started shot. with Stafford, to right be honest there. with you, because he grabbed DJ Moore by the helmet, it looked like, and threw him to the ground. Pay attention of what happened with Stafford as he now grabs the back of the helmet of Moore and pulls him straight down to the ground. And then Moore retaliated by going back at him and, and the melee ensues. Yeah, because this itself was no big deal. Where the Oilers are leading the New York Jets. Uh, originally, I thought that was going to be the problem, but obviously that's legal, so I didn't understand where it was coming from. Camera zoomed out and there's about 400 people fighting. That's 14 to nothing, and if there wasn't enough riding on the game, one of the most bizarre set of circumstances that I've ever seen covering football for a long, long time happened at the end of this half with the Oilers up 14 to nothing with the ball under a minute to go, trying to move the ball from their own end of the field, and Cody Carlson has the ball knocked away and fumbles. Then we go to the sideline where offensive coordinator Kevin Gilbride Obviously hears something and walks toward defense coordinator Buddy Ryan who throws a punch at him in what I have to characterize as a totally classless act. Let's go to Pam Oliver and see if we can get a comment from the Houston Oilers. Third down and three. Ryan can't find it. One Falcons must get to the 43. And Ryan puts up the first down and then a late hit. Laron Landry. He was trying to get out of bounds in. Another smart move there. Now they got D'Angelo Hall on the sideline in the middle of all that. How about Mike Smith in the middle of it? Yeah. He was held away by his tight end, Justin Peel. Oh, now Albert Hainsworth comes in. And another flag. I think that latest flag is going to be on Hainsworth. Again, we talked about attention to detail, being smart. Laurent Landry, that's not playing the game. You're going to get flagged. Now, Mike Smith is right in the middle of this the whole time because it happens right in front of him. Get out of bounds. Get out of bounds. Get the first down. And now he's got the hit on his quarterback. Now he's in the middle of it. Yeah, and he's, he is he is furious. Yeah, you would be really like the job right tackle Will Beatty's done tonight. Yeah, you like that setup, huh? <laughs> Third and five. Eli knew that sack was coming there. But after all that time spent talking about the offensive line, now Jacobs in a uh, pushing match with D'Angelo Hall and throws a punch and Hainsworth and Jacobs grab it and then throwing punches back and forth and uh, there'll be ejections here right, Jacobs who was going for it, it? training in the past and those guys set up like they were uh, ready to go 15 rounds and uh, you know Tom Coughlin's not going to be thrilled when these guys come to the sideline Tom's going to be the first one out there to get one of his leaders in Jacobs you know, when a fight breaks out, I wouldn't look to pick a fight with Albert Hainsworth. I'd look for, like, a small guy. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not right choosing here. Jacobs either, yeah. you know? Yeah, you're right. 265 pounds. And he and D'Angelo right. Hall got started on it. Beatty gets involved. At, at this point, watch these guys square off. It, it, it takes the look of a hockey game here for a second as they take the fighting pose to go after each other, which is. There's Albert, number 92. Ooh, good right hand. 
Good left hand. <laughs> you take it on anybody. That's what I said at it. Oh, is it 92? I said 32 or 3. Coming to Enoso, he was like, yep, yep. <laughs> There's Albert, number 92. Ooh, good right hand. Good left hand. You left hand. You take it on anybody. As the Giants uh, had this in the fourth quarter of the game After last the play week. was over, personal foul, 92. Defense. That 15 oh, defense. he's got to be from like Louisiana or Alabama or something. Personal foul, 92. Defense. That 15 Personal yard foul. Field. 92. You have to leave the field, please. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, it's not amusing for you guys, but I love that Louisiana accent. I just want to hear it one more time. This in the fourth quarter of the game. After the play was over, personal foul, 92. Defense. That 15 yard penalty will be assessed for where the quarterback was sacked and in the grass. First down. How does Brandon not get a penalty? Oh, it's, oh shit. Uh, I love that southern. I think it's Louisiana, Alabama, around there, Mississippi. I think them accents are cool as fuck, man. I think if I was American, I think I'd want one of them accents. For, for real. But that was a sick video, man. I didn't... Obviously, it doesn't kick off as much as it used to, from what I understand. But I rate the teens when they back their friends, because, they, you know, it does turn into a brawl quickly, but you're not just going to leave your mate, are you? He made a reference to hockey fights there. I think doing a hockey fight is something that I should do on the channel. NFL best fights. I imagine. I imagine they're fucking brutal. In fact, I think I saw one on Facebook the other day. You know when you just go through the wormhole of just scrolling. I think I saw one. It was pretty fucking sick. Let me know if you want to see that. Anyway, guys, I'll leave you to it. I'm gonna attempt to record other videos. Attempt. <laughs> right. Um. Thanks for joining me, man. Peace out. All right. Take it easy.